In this project, we are going to simulate an aircraft propeller and its aerodynamics using mesh motion method. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. A propeller is a device used to convert mechanical force into thrust in aircraft and ships. The movement of air or water provides the necessary thrust. A propeller consists of two or more twisted blades. When the propeller rotates around its, its axis, the lift produced by these blades moves the air in a horizontal direction. In advanced systems, the propellers are responsible for converting the rotational power of the engine crankshaft into propulsion. This force is equal to the product of the mass of air pushed back by the propeller per second and the velocity given to the airflow. If a person is standing on the ground behind a rotating propeller while the aircraft is stationary, he can fully feel the airflow. In principle, the propeller blade is like a small wing that produces an aerodynamic force. This aerodynamic force can be broken into one component of the force along the axis of the aircraft, propulsion force, and another component in the propeller blade plate, torque force. In this project, the analysis of thrust and lift forces behind the propeller on the fuselage is examined by ANSYS Fluent Software. First, the geometry of the plane and the propeller in SOLIDWORKS software is designed and modeled to create the mesh and create the grid and name of the boundary condition. The geometry file is then implemented in ANSYS meshing software. After double-clicking on the boundary conditions button, in the middle part of the software window, click on Inlet Boundary. After clicking on it, you can see the type of this boundary is defined as Velocity Inlet. By clicking on Edit button, you can change the settings related to this boundary. In this window, change the coordinate system to Cartesian, and then in front of the Y and Z velocity, enter the values that you can see in this slide. And finally, if you click on each of the wall boundaries and then click on Edit button, in the Appeared window under the Momentum tab, you can see a stationary wall motion along with no slip shear condition are defined for each of these walls. There are two ways to check that your simulation process have reached convergence or not. Alongside checking the residuals reaching and nearing zero, you may define an arbitrary report or an arbitrary boundary in order to calculate different parameters like pressure, velocity, temperature, and see whether they reach a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation process have reached convergence. However, you must check the residuals as well. To create such report, you can simply right-click on Report Definitions, go over New, and select one of the options available based on your simulation. Now if you expand the Report Definition section, you will see different reports are defined. Now if I double-click on the first report, a new window will appear which shows us the details of this report. After double-clicking on the Initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the Compute From drop-down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on Compute From All Zones, the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. And finally, if you double click on the Run Calculations button, in the middle part of the software window under the parameters, you can enter the number of time steps you want your simulation to be continued. Also, you can enter the time step size for each time step, and then by clicking on Calculate button, the software will start the simulation process. On the low left side of the software window in front of the method, make sure you select YZ plane and then leave the value of X unchanged.
In this slide, you can see the pressure distribution over the middle plane, which is created inside our computational domain and over the body of our aircraft. And in this slide, you can see the velocity distribution over the plane, which was placed in the middle part of our geometry. Again, on the low left side of the software window in front of the start from section, select inlet boundary and then simply click on apply button and the software will show you the streamlines of the airflow. Now in this slide you can see the streamlines of the airflow passing over the body of our aircraft. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.